Hey, how's it going geeks? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a Vega 64 running on a custom water loop, as you guys can see here. Uh, it's been almost two years since this card was released, and I wanted to take another closer look at it now. Uh, since we've gotten a lot of driver updates to the Radeon 7, which will trickle down to the Vega 64, since they are essentially the same architecture, but on a different die size. So we will be pushing the card as high as it will go and see what kind of numbers we can get from this overlooked beast. Because quite frankly, this card has not gotten a lot of love since its launch. A lot of negativity, which I, don't, which I generally don't agree with. Um, I was initially going to do this with a Vega Frontier, which I have over here. This guy. But this guy is an absolute terrible overclocker. Um, it won't go past 1650 megahertz on the core, which is only above 50 megahertz from stock. So uh, let's see what we can get out of this Vega 10, Vega 64. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I just got finished doing a bit of testing with the card and. As you guys can see, I scored a 27,293. Uh, this is basically Radeon 7 territory. And uh, as most of you guys probably already know, a Radeon 7 is somewhat equivalent to a RTX 2080 or a GTX 1080 Ti, which is really darn impressive. Coming from a card that is valued at 300 to 350 US dollars. So as you guys can see over here on the right side, I managed to get the core stable at 1772. And on top of that, I was able to bring the voltage down 40 millivolts from stock. We also brought the HBM up to 1125, giving it 1050 millivolts on the memory. And the numbers I'm showing you guys here are really really stable. I did a little bit of testing on games just to make sure it wasn't just fire strike that was passing and the card is completely stable. It runs games perfectly fine. The temperatures don't go too high. I don't think they even pass like around 60 Celsius or so which is really good. So this is actually really exciting as we get more driver updates for the Radeon 7, we should see performance going up on the Vega 56 and the Vega 64. I really do think these cards have come a long way and it seems like they're just getting better and better. Just looking at the card today compared to when it launched, the drivers have made a world of a difference. It's almost not even the same card. The performance is so much better. I think in the future I'm going to make a video comparing some of the older drivers with some of the newer stuff AMD's releasing. That way you guys can see just how much the card has improved. And I genuinely do think this card is an excellent buy. Uh, you do have to do a little bit of tinkering, but if you like that sort of stuff, fantastic card. So now that we've done Firestrike, I'm going to show you guys just some gameplay footage of the card running at these clocks, so stay tuned. Here's somebody outside our building, front side.
up with you? Keep moving. The police station. Almost there. Come on! 